Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to create a back button that sends the user back in their browser history. We'll see how to send them back one step, two steps, or as many steps as you want. And we'll also look at two different ways to do it. One way with an href inside your link settings, and the other way with jQuery inside custom code. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we're going to see how we can go back two different ways. This top is showing the href with JavaScript version and this bottom is showing the jQuery with custom code version. Before we start going back, let's define the back pages that we are going to. So right now we are in hack 13. It's finsuitehacks.com slash 13. Now we're gonna go to 12. So now we're back one step. And then we're gonna go to 11. Okay, great. So now we've been to 13, to 12, and now 11. And now we are going to go back to 13. Okay, so we're going to go back one page, which would send us back to 11. Great. And now we're gonna go back two pages, which should bring us to 12. And there we go, we're back to 12. And we're going forward again, back to, let's go, let's restart this for jQuery. Uh, and now we're back on 13. Let's define these back pages again. We're gonna go to hack 12, then we're gonna go to hack 11, and now we're gonna go back to our hack 13. Great, so we go back one, it should bring us to 11, wonderful. We're going forward and we're gonna now go back two pages which should bring us to 12. And there we go. So we're showing how to go, let's go back to 13. We're showing how to do this two different ways, back one level or back two levels. In Designer, we have our href buttons and jQuery buttons. The href buttons have no add-on class and the jQuery buttons both have an add-on class. And the reason is we are going to use page settings custom code to run the jQuery version and the href version is done completely inside Designer. On this back one page via href button, we're going to go into our link block settings. And here in link block settings, you can see a weird type of URL. This is JavaScript inside the URL field. And this is going to send the user back one page. So here we have a back tick. The back tick is the character on your tilde key, which is right next to the number one key. And after the back tick, we're going to write this JavaScript, history, and back. And that is going to send the user back one page. And when we go to the go back two pages, it's very similar, where we have the back tick, JavaScript, history, go, minus two. And that's gonna send the user back two pages. And remember, no add-on classes needed here. It's all done inside the link URL, or the href. Nice. Okay, in case you need to use jQuery for whatever reason, maybe it's part of a grander function or whatever, we have the option to use jQuery. And you can see there are no JavaScript functions inside our link. We are only going to apply an add-on class so we can identify these buttons in custom code. So the go back one page via jQuery has the add-on class hack13 back one. And the go back two pages has the add-on class hack13 back two. Let's break down this code line by line. Before our closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. 
when the DOM is ready, we are going to target our hack 13 back one class. And on click of that class, we're going to run a function. And that function is this, window history back. That is going to send the user back in their browser history one level on this click. And you also can see this note here that we can also use window history go minus one. And for the back two levels version, it's the same thing. We're now targeting our back two add-on class. And you'll see that inside the parentheses, we are simply adding minus two. You wanna go back three minus three. You wanna go back four minus four. And that's it. That's two different ways to send the user back in their browser history. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.